Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, June the 5th, 2017, and this is response to Chris Potter's latest video called Brown Dwarf Discovered Close to Sun. Well, that seems to be quite an announcement, doesn't it? Now, Chris Potter is looking at this article on this website called Outlook, the News Scroll, and as you can see, the headline is called A Cold, Close, Brown Dwarf Discovered Near the Sun. Now, in true Chris Potter style, he reads the article off word by word. But let's take a closer look. Here is the article on the website, as you can see. A cold, close brown dwarf discovered near sun. Well, that would seem to be fairly alarming. Except when we read the detail in the article itself, which says a brown dwarf, which is a little more than, how far? 100 light years away from the sun. That's right, 100 light years away from the sun. Now, 100 light years takes it right outside of our solar system. The nearest stars to our solar system, the nearest stars to our sun, are just over 4 light years away. So, obviously, 100 light years is well outside of our solar system. But let's put this in some more perspective, shall we? How far away is 100 light years? Well, we tend to measure distances in space in terms of astronomical units, or AU, which is the average distance between the Sun and the Earth. The second main unit that we use is light years. Now, let's cover AU to start with. So, I already mentioned that 1 AU is the average distance between the Sun and the Earth, approximately 93 million miles or 150 million kilometres. Now, if we go right out to Neptune, the most distant recognised planet in our solar system, Neptune lies at a distance of 30 AU. So, how many AU or astronomical units are there in one light year? Let's take a look. Let's simply Google AU to light years and we come up with this calculator. Let's put in one light year and we can see that one light year is 63,241 astronomical units. So we have to times that by 100. Now one light year is about 5.88 trillion miles or 9.5 trillion kilometers. So let's take that figure of one light year, and we're only talking about one light year, not 100 light years here, at 63,241, and divide that by 30 AU, which is the distance out to Neptune, and that is 2,108 times the distance out to Neptune. 1 AU is 2,108 times the distance out to Neptune. So if we times that by 100 for 100 light years, that means that 100 light years is 210,800 times the distance out to Neptune. A close, cold, brown dwarf discovered near Sun. You'd think that Chris Potter would be a little bit more careful in his research and checking these claims. But no, he pounces on one that suits his agenda, proclaiming that there is a brown dwarf within our solar system and near the sun, when that is clearly not even the case when we read the detail in the article. So no, despite what has been reported by Chris Potter, brown dwarf discovered close to sun, that is clearly not the case. Thank you for visiting my channel, please be sure to subscribe. For further discussion, check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.